about a year and a half ago without any warning at all. Actually, just a little over a year and a half ago. Uh, I started losing feeling in my legs. It's oversimplifying it. I started losing feeling, but I, I didn't... I started losing the ability to move my legs. That's better, better put in it. I was losing the feeling on the outside of my legs, but my legs wouldn't move properly. It, but they were, it felt like my ligaments were being restricted and it was the most God awful pain I'd ever felt in my life. Now, mind you, I've been paralyzed before. I've, I've, I've had issues before, uh, over a decade before, prior to this back in 2000. Um, and this came out of nowhere. Uh, when we finally went to the, uh, uh, I got the doctor to do an MRI and everything. We found out that I had to have emergency spinal surgery. Um, he said that, uh, I was point zero eight millimeters away from my spinal cord being severed, uh, according to the MRI. Um, after the procedure, he said I was a lot closer than that. Um, I didn't have much, much preparation for it. Um, actually, I had two weeks to get prepared for it, um, which didn't give us any time at all. I was the only income in the family. I am the only income in the family. Um, and I don't have parents. Um, I don't have family. Um, I am an orphan. Uh, I also don't have a lot of friends. I've never been a person with a lot of friends. I uh, don't have a lot of work associates. Um, in fact, I'm the only person I work with. Uh, and my wife is a stay-at-home mom. Um, and my daughter is homeschooled. Uh, and we go to a very, very small church. Um, well, we were going to a big church, but we know how that went. Um, well, we started a GoFundMe, but... That didn't seem to go too well. Um, we tried to raise funds and everything because I went eight months, eight or nine months without working. Um, yes, I did have insurance. Um, I did have a little funds from my medical, from my work that was able to pay for some of the f living expenses, but not much at all. Um, I was, was not able to pay for like rent. Um, I did end up losing a vehicle. Um, but, uh, we actually ended up not being able to pay for the house at all. And we just found out that we're going to end up, uh, we're going to end up losing the house in May. Um, there's no if, ands or buts about it at all. Um, and because of all of this, our credit has been totally shot and the way living is now you can't live anywhere without having good credit. Everybody does a credit check. Um, and the reason I say all of this is because it baffles me. Everything baffles me because I wasn't going to start a GoFundMe because I was very scared to do it because to me, it, it was putting myself out there. And it was proving, it was, it was proving exactly what it did. It was proving what you really are worth. You see, I, I saw, I saw somebody have a GoFundMe for a donkey that raised $31,000 for vet bills. I saw an old woman who worked at Pizza Hut and slip and fell at work. Um at somebody's house and she was 71 years old and the person who she slipped and fell at, at their house felt so bad for the woman that they started to go fund me for her and they raised $51,000 in one day for her and over $270,000 in a week for her. And I'm like, Oh my God, that is, that's wonderful for them. So many people care about them, but I knew nobody knows me. It's not me feeling sorry for myself. It's just that I don't have a lot of people when I help people and I try to help as many people as I can. And I do, but I do it anonymously. 
I don't go around telling people I help people. I don't want people to know that I'm out there helping people. Because that's not why I'm doing it. But I don't have a lot of friends. I don't have any family. You know, when I die, I probably won't have a lot of people at my funeral. If I die soon, I definitely won't. But I notice the way you get help, it's it's a it's a luck of the cards. You know, it's who sees you. You know, if if you uh, if the right person sees that you need help, you might get some help. If they don't see that you need help, you're not going to get any help. It doesn't matter how sad and pitiful your thing is. I've seen some people that I've been on some conferences where I, I volunteered and some people that were multimillionaires were raising funds because their spouses had cancer and was getting money. I mean, not recently, but I mean, but I'd been to some people raise money for people they know. People will just throw cash at it. I don't understand any of this. I don't know how to raise money. There's a lot of people out there that need help. It shouldn't be based on anything other than let's just help people. I feel bad because I was getting angry because I was trying so hard to raise money and nobody was paying attention to me. I mean, my daughter was the one who was going to suffer because if it didn't have anything to do with my daughter, I wouldn't have raised the money. I wouldn't have even tried. I've done it before. I've lived out of my vehicle before and I'd do it again, but with my daughter involved and it's just like people gave me lots of prayers and that's it. Lots of prayers or they send me off to a food bank. Like I don't, I don't need a food bank yet. Thank God. But we have a lot of bills that we're going to end up homeless if we don't take care of now. And that's what's going to happen now. And we would have rather not end up homeless. So because we don't have the credit to find another home, we can't end up in a situation where we've got to find a home that will allow animals or anything like that. I mean, it's, it's a complicated situation that if we would have just been able to pay our bills, but now they've got to sell the home. I need people to forgive me. I want to forgive myself, but I'm still angry because I'm still mad. I still can't help feeling angry at people. When I'm able to help people, I help people. You know, when I can't help people, I find a way to help people. I can't be the only one like that. I'm going to leave my GoFundMe information, my Cash App information, just in case y'all want to help out or share it. I do appreciate it. I really do. I'm not ungrateful. I'm really not. I'm just hurting. I have a six-year-old daughter that I'm worried about. That's it. Love you guys. Stay in peace. Stay in love. Hey guys, I want to personally thank everyone for liking and sharing my videos. Uh, if you want to continue to see my content, all you got to do is press that subscribe button and I'll notify you as soon as a new video comes out. I don't get paid for any of this. So if you want to buy some of my merch, like my shirts, like Jesus is a badass or my don't be a dick shirt, uh, you can easily go to my merch store, which is at SOGTV.org, which I will have it in the description at the, every video. So push that. Go buy yourself a shirt. I appreciate it. Have a blessed day, and I will see you at the next episode. Thank you.